Well, 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 what have we here? Hi, everybody. What's this? It's a package. It's not cold outside. How's the hair? All right. Hey, everybody, I got a package here. And this is from Pearl Shaving, which is an uh, Indian-based company. And they contacted me and they said, hey, we want to send you some stuff. This is what they sent me. I'm not sure what it is. Um, but Pearl Shaving, based out of India. Now, I don't know where they get all their razors and their stuff, but they sell razors, brushes, stands, combs, everything. And now, normally, I would say, you know, because I kind of looked at the razors before, and I think that some of them are similar to things you can find almost anywhere. But I figured, what the heck? I haven't gotten a package in a long time from India, if ever. So let's open this thing up. It is very well packed. <clears throat> I'm just going to slice it open here with the Exacto. Hopefully I don't cut anything or anyone as I'm doing this. How's, how's everybody doing? So, like I said, I don't know what's in here, but they were nice enough to send me a box of free shaving supplies. How could I say no to that? All right. Ooh, we got an, ooh, an outer box, inner box. Put this file 13 right there. Put this down over here. All right, here's what the box looks like. <laughs> there you go. Ooh, smells interesting. It's got an interesting perfumey smell. All right. Let's see. The first thing we got is, look at that, Pearl Blaze double-edged safety razor from the makers of India's renowned brand, manufactured by Madhav Metal Industries. Yeah, so there you go. Madhav, M-A-D-H-A-V, Metal Industries. So we got a pretty nice looking box there. The Pearl Blaze. Maybe these won't be the things that I was thinking. I was thinking they were going to be rebranded Chinese stuff. Maybe not. Maybe not. And we got a shaving brush, marble. So there's that. And we got, what's this? We got a, oh, Gray's Sports Almanac. I can finally go back in time and make some money. I'll look at that later. Let's see what else is in here. Post shave lotion. Okay. Got some stuff on the back. The post shave vitalizes and offers a refreshing cooling sensation. Also, Madav Metal Industries. Yeah. Okay. Hashtag pearl shaving. Product of India. So cool. Hello to all my Indian viewers. I know I have a lot because I did that. What was it? The Bombay Shaving Club video a long time ago. So. This is part of the reason why I did this, because they were an Indian-based company. I wasn't sure if the things they were going to make were going to be Indian-based or products of India. And I'm still not sure. I'll have to open it up. We got this so far. And we got three more things, looks like. Three? Yeah. Two small things. What's this? Co coffee op. Coffee op. I don't know what that... Pearl Man. So this is artisan shaving soap. Coffee op. I don't know. Here we go. We've got Shaver's Spirit. Shaver's Spirit Shaving Soap. So we got two shaving soaps. We got post shave, after shave balm lotion. We got a brush. And we got the Pearl Blade Double Edge. Double Edge Safety Razor. And then we got one more fancy looking box. Ooh, this is the Pearl Flexi. Ooh, quintessentially luxurious. It's luxurious. It's luxurious. Your doorway to the incredible world of classic wet shaving. Manufactured and marketed by Madav Metal Industries. ISO 9001-2015. Pearlshaving.in or info at pearlshaving.com. So, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to shave with. I think I should shave with the things that came out first. The Pearl Blaze, this brush, the post-shave lotion, and the coffee off, because I don't think I can wait too much longer to open all these suckers up and see what's inside. I'm not going to open every single one of these up and show them to you. I'll just have them open and we'll start shaving and see how they work because I'm curious and hopefully you are too. All right, let's head this way. Bathroom's over here. Okay, so we're ready to shave now. I've unboxed the little boxes and let me show you the brush first. I got soaking. It is a synthetic brush and it's got this kind of a wide chunky handle and it's kind of a wide sort of a waist at the bottom now. Normally when you look at shaving brushes, they got it like, like they're a little, uh, let me shake this out. <laughs> they're a little bit skinnier at the bottom. This one's kind of thick and chunky. So that's what, that's what this looks like. I got it soaking, even though you don't need to soak a synthetic brush. And then the shaving soap, Pearl Man Coffee OP or Coffee Op. Now 
I opened this up already and I was a little, I'll show you in a second, but this, this cracks me up. So it looks like a coffee bean that's kind of going, Ugh. it's got a witch's hat on, got a couple of, uh, of like peppermint lollipops and it's coffee, coffee op, coffee OP. So let me just unscrew this. Now I will tell you, it does not smell like coffee to me. It smells like, uh, I'm getting a Tootsie Roll vibe off of it. And let me show you what I, so it's got a little plastic covering on it. And that worried me a little because that orange was a little frightening. <laughs> like I'd just been eating uh, a very greasy uh, meal, enchiladas or something. So this comes off and then we've got the little shaving soap inside. And it's very, it's pretty firm. And it, I can tell what they're going for, at least to me, is not coffee at all, but like a chocolate smell. So this is kind of a, I don't know, I'm not sure why it's called coffee. Maybe it's a language barrier thing, but it does smell like when someone tries to make uh, uh, chocolate and can't quite get it. And so that's why I get the Tootsie Roll smell. So it's more like Tootsie Roll. Okay, so we got that. It's just that whole thing is so funny to me. Look at that. It's a coffee bean that just can't, can't handle it right now. And then I've got the, uh, the Pearl Man Post Shave Lotion. All these products are made in India from what I can tell. I've looked on their website. And here's their website, pearlshaving.com. And they seem to be a wholesaler for shaving products. So when you tap on one of these pictures of all the different things they make, it just goes back to the top of the page and it doesn't give you any pricing. So I haven't been able to find any pricing um, uh, about this stuff. Uh, so I'm sorry, I can't help you there. But uh, if I do find out, maybe I'll, I'll let you know. Maybe I'll let you know. Now the piece de resistance, the razor, the pearl blaze. There's another sort of a language barrier thing, but I, I find it fascinating. You can hire me if you want. I will uh, I will translate into English so that uh, native English speakers will, will get it. Shines like a knife, smooth like a butter. I like that. Shines like a knife, smooth like a butter. I love it. I love it. So very nice box. I started to open it up, um, but it's so cool looking inside. I wanted to show you. It's got this little little like a satin tab, little pull tab, entirely made from brass and CNC processed. So there you go. So let's slide this thing out and you'll see what's inside. Okay, box, box, nice box. So introducing your new favorite razor, no plastic waste, zero irritation, yada, yada, yada. I'll point this up so you can pause it and read it if you want to. There you go. And then Here's what it looks like inside the box. So we got a little a little polishing cloth. Isn't that nice? Thank you, pearl shaving. So we got a polishing cloth. Maybe Grandpa Grunge, you'll finally get cleaned up. And then we got a thank you. In a world full of options, we wanted to take a moment to say thank you for choosing us. Share your review on www.pearlshaving.in. So they have pearlshaving.com and pearlshaving.in. Hi. And here's the razor. Look at that. This is a beautiful handle. I love it. I think it's a three piece. What on earth is that? It's like a, what are these little spacers in here? I might have to pause this video and take a look before. Well, let's just take everything out. Ooh, that's got a nice heavy weight to it. Look at that thing. Isn't that interesting? What an interesting, like got these little knurlings and these little ridged edges. Fascinating. All right. And then there's the head. Here's the head. So it's a three piece. There's the head there. Pardon my shaking. I've had a lot of coffee this morning. Oh, and they send you, they give you a little sleeve of the Gentleman Razor Blades. Classic Mac, Super Platinum, made in India. I'm not going to use those this time. I'm going to go ahead and go back to that Mula that I used that one time, just because. Now let's, what the heck? So it's got these little spacers on here, but I'm not sure why. I wonder if that's a, oh, that's a blade gap thing, isn't it? That's what that is. That's to increase or decrease the blade gap. They're just little plastic spacers, little hard plastic, and they all seem to be the same thickness. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna put this on pause and make sure that if I'm supposed to use that or if I can do it without, I'll be right back. Okay, I think I figured out what the washers are. Mantic 59 is the reason these washers are in this set. So if you know him, he does the sharpologist.com. He's one of the old school YouTube shavers. And he, at one point, decided that his little razor, his little three piece was like too loose and he didn't like it being scratched at the base plate. So he started putting these little nylon plastic washers on there. Uh, nylon plastic, is that right? I don't know. 
and just as a protective thing and to tighten the head just a little bit more if it starts to get loose. So there's some other razor companies. I think Maggard or somebody was starting to sell these, but it all, I think, started with Mantic 59. So there you go. So they included those. I guess they've been watching shaving channels. They know what's going on. But from what I understand, this company makes tons of metal products and machined products, and that's kind of what they're into now, selling all this shaving equipment. So they've done some of their research, it looks like, and uh, I like the feel of this razor so far. Let's put it together, three-piece razor. And uh, I decided to use a feather blade, a brand new one, because I want to, whenever I use these new razors, I want to go with a razor blade that I know. And uh, so I'm going to use this one. Okay. So we're gonna put the uh, put the old razor blade on, just like that, and then put the base plate on. Now it says Pearl Blaze, made in India. So I gotta make sure I'm getting this face down. So the, the lettering, you should be able to read it still once the base plate is on. Yeah, just like that. So you can still read it. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the little washer, which you don't necessarily need, but you can use if you want to. Put that right on there, screw it down, I love the shape and the design of the, the, uh, ooh, good, it's got an overhang. I love when a razor doesn't have an overhang so I can grab the edges and really tighten it down. There you go. So now we're ready to go. It's got a great weight. It's got, let me put this up next to my, uh, my signature razor. Very short. See? And then we got the Rockwell. Also very short. So this is a very long handled razor. Uh, here's a G, here's, I almost said a Geo Fat Boy. Here's a Fat Boy, also short. So this is a really long handled razor. So if you like long handled razors, um, go for the Blaze. This is the Blaze. I looked on their website. It is more of a manufacturing wholesale website. So I couldn't find this particular razor. This is the worst. I'm just going to show you what they sent me. Now, as far as the website is concerned, I can't help you. But this thing is solid and heavy, man. I hope it shaves well. Looks good. Simple. All right, I feel like I'm talking way too much. This is gonna be a long video and I apologize. Okay, so I took a shower, I did my hair, and it's time to wet the face. Get some hot water on there. Now, I did take a shower a little bit too soon once I started yakking about all this stuff, so I do need to get my face wet. Get those whiskers wet again. Then we're gonna lather up with the coffee op. Coffee op, coffee op. I'm not sure, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But the, the Tootsie Roll smelling coffee, let's see how it lathers. Starting to go. Now, if, they also sell tons of metal bowls. They're obviously a huge metal uh, manufacturing uh, concern over there in India. And they're based out of Gujarat, India. So I apologize if I mispronounce that. But if you live anywhere near Gujarat and you happen to uh, be in the market for some shaving equipment, well, your hometown's got it. Pearl shaving. All right. So it's got this sort of a weird pinkish color to it, which is fine. And it smells like Tootsie Roll, which I'm not a big fan of. It kind of, it's not, not the, the best smell for me. But I'm going to try it out. We're going to see if it's slick. See if it's got, uh, it's got coconut oil in it and fragrance and water and, you know, all the kind of normal stuff you see in shaving brushes. I mean, uh, shaving soap. And even though the scent is not my favorite, can you tell the light is changing now? The sun is starting to come back in. You have to deal with that coming up this summer. It's lathering beautifully. I could actually use a bit more water because it's a little thick right now. But let's just go ahead and go with that as is. Nice. If it was, if it wasn't for the scent, a okay, good, good soap. And I, I want that on a t-shirt. I want that on a t-shirt. It's so cute. I like that little drawing. So whoever did it over there at Pearl Shaving or whoever, my hat's off to you. All right, let's go with this solid. This thing is heavy, man. How much does it weigh? Total height, 110 millimeters. Handle, 98 millimeters. It is 105 grams. So if that means anything to you, it's 105 grams. Let's see how it shaves. It feels very smooth. It feels like, ooh, hey now, wait a second. You hear the sirens going off? They're calling the cops on me. This is such a good shave. It's criminal. Let's hold off until we do more than just one cheat before we say it's a great shave. But you know how you can already tell something is going to be nice? That's what this feels like. Dang it, I wish I knew the price. 
Because if this thing's like a hundred bucks, that's a bit much. I'd go with the Rockwell. But if this thing's like thirty dollars, holy cow! Especially all my friends and viewers over there in India, because I know I got a lot of good viewers and a lot of good friends. I get good comments from over there still. So thank you all. And uh, as far as for ordering in the states, like I said, I wish their website was better. But uh, you can contact them and get all the information. Or pearlshaving.com or pearlshaving.in. And I'll put a link down below. But I tell you what, I'm liking this closed comb. I prefer closed comb over open comb. It just feels like a, a smoother shave to me. And a simple head like this that's not too thick. I mean, it's similar in shape to the Rockwell head, if you see that. It's kind of, I mean, you know, well, maybe not really. <laughs> maybe I thought it was. But I like the weight and I like the length. And this thing is built like a tank. It is solid, dude. If anybody tried to come in and, and, and steal my shaving equipment, I could just throw this at them and knock them out. But it's not too heavy. Hmm. Yeah, not a fan of the scent of this, but it seems to be a pretty good uh, shaving soap. So I'd be interested to see which other scents they have. And I, they did send me this other one, so I'll do this sometime soon. This one's called Shaver's Spirit. So I probably won't be using the coffee op anymore. If it's a black coffee, is it black op? Black ops. Yeah, not a fan of the scent, but the lather is good. It's lasting. It's staying like a thick white. Sometimes they break up. This one's doing well. I'm actually kind of excited because, you know, judging by some of the things I saw on their website when I was trying to figure out all this stuff, it really did seem just like copies of other razors, but this one is not on their website as far as I can tell. And I've looked, I've looked, but this one is, that's pretty dang nice. I like this little flare at the bottom too, like a little trumpet. Okay, there's the first pass. That did very, very well. It's not super aggressive. It's not crazy mild. So it got rid of a lot. And you know, it's passing the, the cheeks down test, you know? All right, let's go with the second. Second pass with their, this brush is fine. It's got a real stout knot. You know, the, the bristles are really, they're not flimsy. Oh, I got a little nick down there, didn't I? Okay, gotta watch out. Let me get some more water in here. There we go. Just thin this out a little bit. Don't need to be as thick on that second pass, you know what I mean? Jelly bean. I used to say that more to my kids and I've kind of gotten out of the habit now. Know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Mmm, yeah. Don't like the smell. <laughs> Otherwise, it's great. <laughs> well, besides that, Mr. Lincoln, um, <laughs> dang, I messed it up. Well, besides that, Mrs. Lincoln, how did you enjoy the play? There we go. Rewind it, skip the first part. Okay, second pass, cross, Yeah, I'm kind of digging the blaze, man. Beautiful uh, packaging, too. Really impressive. And the little, the fact that they put those little plastic washers in. Like, it doesn't adjust anything, like, as far as blade gap or anything like that. But I guess if you've got a uh, an old razor that maybe it's starting to crap out on you or get loose. I don't know. I haven't had that experience. But, uh, yeah. I might have to try it with one of my other razors. I don't know. I don't want to have to use it because it's a tiny little thing. And you could lose them at the drop of a head. I know they gave me five of them, but I don't want to have to think about one more thing. <laughs> oh, I'm too lazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down, SL. Slow down. Okay. Yeah, I got a little bit of a nick down there, didn't I? All right, let's do this. Let's do blood loss stoppage while we're thinking about it. We'll, we'll, as long as I'm not shaving that little section of my face. Because this is a sharp, brand new feather blade. You don't want to mess around. Okay. I love the feel of the head of this razor. I love it. Yeah. It's got one of those good, it's kind of, it, it reminds me of the rock. It doesn't feel like it, but it reminds me of how I shave when I'm using the Rockwell. 
or my signature Muraka razor from Wet Shave Club. It's, uh, I, I, I need to try to put it into words. The feel, the edge just feels solid and like it's gripping my skin and staying there and doing, you know, the job that I wanted to do instead of skipping across or being too light or, uh, you know, getting hung up. It just feels solid and I'm loving the handle. You done good, Pearl Shaving. You done good. I just, I sort of just accepted your, your generous offer, you know, as a whim because, you know, you always want to try something else new. So, you know, if it had been, you know, I get a ton of offers like, hey, can you try out our, your brand new, you know, off-brand, you know, electric shaver. And it's like, nah, I can't do that. But when it comes to real safety razors, I think I just uncovered a little gem here. So, in, my Indian friends, check them out. Pearl Shaving. Not bad. I wish I could tell you the, well, the name of it is The Blaze, so ask for it by name. I just don't know how much it costs. All right, third pass. At last. There have been a couple of, uh, a couple of sheddings, but that's natural with a, any brush, even synthetic. The first shave you use, it, it's going to shed a little bit. I'm going to wash this thing out while I'm thinking about it. Get the <laughs> yeah, beautiful lather. Just don't like the scent. But it's slick. It lathers well. And, uh, yeah, lasts you a good long time. Okay. Third and final pass with the Blaze. Blaze. Got that annoying little nick right there. It's just bugging me. Okay, I'm going to go real extra slow and cautious on this last one. Now I did the thing, uh, I, I smelled the, the post-shave balm, the aftershave lotion. I did the thing that I always recommend that you do when you're gonna try a new product that you're putting on your face. Uh, put it on a couple of minutes before you take a shower. That way if you just don't like it, you can wash it off. That's what I did. And it's a, it's a very perfumey, this uh, post-shave lotion. It's kind of a clean, uh, scented, it's got a fairly strong scent but it's almost like floral. I have to, I'll, when I use it in a minute, I'll let you know. Okay. Remember to flip that blade head around when you're shaving, do the old trick where you go that side and you flip over that side. Okay. You really hear it, can't you? When I'm being quiet. <laughs> Finally, some peace and quiet. I try to watch this guy shave. All he does is... I'm like the chatty Kathy doll. And I'm pulling my own string. What's that from? Movie reference. Mm-hmm. I can tell that I'm slowing down and I'm enjoying the shave because I am enjoying this razor. It feels fantastic. I guarantee you this, this razor is going into uh, a place where I can grab it quickly and use it. And that's saying something, I think. Oh God, go light, 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 light. I would say on a level of one to 10 for aggressiveness, six maybe or a seven, like it doesn't feel aggressive but it's doing the job of an aggressive razor, which I like. Now I can feel a little bit of having shaved, like on my cheeks a little bit, because maybe I was going a little bit too hard or pressing too much with a brand new feather blade. So maybe the aggression is a seven, more than a six, maybe seven and a half. I don't know, I'm terrible with math, you know me. Okay, let's feel the problem spots as usual. From here down, edge of the whatever jawline I might have. Gotta get those under the nose, make sure. Nothing bugs me more than those little tiny, teeny, tiny hairs. Okay, gotta know when to stop. I'm getting a little too, too much. Okay, wash off, use cold water. Or hot, you know, it doesn't matter. Whatever. Whatever you want to do.
Oh, something I forgot to show you. With each of these products, the, uh, the well, not the razor, but the brush, the shaving soap, and the aftershave all came with a little shaving guide booklet. So if you don't learn everything you need to learn about shaving from the first shaving booklet, then you got a second one, you got a backup. You can put this in your other bathroom, give it to your friends as gifts. And there's even another one, there's three of them with each product, except the razor. I was hoping there'd be one in there, but there's not. There's just all the really nice packaging. Did that thing stop? Maybe sorta. Okay, the Madov Metal Industries, marketed by Pearl Man. Shake this sucker up. It's got a little squirt thing on the top. Put about that much, not too much. It's a lotion, so it's not gonna burn. Mmm, it smells like a really clean barbershop. And in a weird way, to me, and I'm not sure why this is, what is that smell? It's almost like, um, what is that? Honeysuckle almost. Like a honeysuckle scent? With a little bit of soap, there's a soapiness and a honeysuckle, like a little bit of a light floral. But not like perfume, but close, close. But I tell you, I could see myself in a fine barbershop in India getting a haircut and a shave and them putting this on at the end and me going, remember that smell? Remember that smell from that Indian barbershop? That's what this, I imagine this to be like. <laughs> I'm sure you could probably find this over there. God, I am shaking, man. It's that coffee op. Is that right? Is that right? So that's it, I think. I'm just, just I'm so worried about this stupid little Nick and I shouldn't be. Otherwise, wow, what? Look, the aftershave lotion is fine, the brush is fine, the soap is fine, but this is the real winner. This sucker right here, the Blaze. This, I want to show you the box again, the outside of the box, because it look, looks cool. Look at that. Shines like a knife, smooth like a butter. I love it. I love it. This is a great razor. Thank you for sending this to me. Now, I, like I said, I've got a couple more things here. I'm not going to use them this time, of course. Got the, uh, the blades they sent. And this, the Pearl Flexi, I have no idea what that's gonna be. I, I don't even know, I don't know if it's a razor set or what. Doesn't even say what it is. And then finally, the Shaver's Spirit Soap. So I got those things coming up. I'll, uh, next time I'll use uh, the same, you know, I'll use a different brush or whatever, but we'll see. But anyway, thanks to my friends over at Pearl Shaving, pearlshaving.com, pearlshaving.in, and all my other friends and viewers over there in India. Thanks for watching. And uh, please leave a comment if you, uh, if you have anything, I'll, I will email the, the, the person I was speaking to at Pearl Shaving to get maybe some more information about pricing since I couldn't find it on their website and that I'm sure I should have been able to find it. I just couldn't because, uh, you know, maybe I'm not very good. <laughs> well, what's this internet thing you kids are always talking about? Okay, this is a really long video. I apologize for that. I hope you got something out of it. It was fun. I love doing these. And I got uh, another thing coming up. I got a vintage thing coming up. I'm not going to tell you what it is right now. And I don't think it's going to work, but I bought it because it looks so cool. That's coming up soon. All right, everybody have a great weekend. Thanks again, Pearl Shaving for sending me this stuff. I really am excited about this thing. This is great. I love it. I'm going to take it, take it for a walk. See you guys later.